Hey guys, short video. Aquaponic tank, fishy tank, plumbing going down on a couple of greenhouses. On one side over that one, we have something that's pretty new and funky. It's called an anchored raft. So unlike a floating raft, this one's anchored. So can't move. Uh, it seems to be working a treat, but that's not what I'm talking about at the moment. We're looking at basically the tank, the swirling motion, keeping water moving, and mainly keeping cords and everything neat and tidy for the reason of not wanting to clog up and have debris touching anything, holding onto anything, and going off, especially fish food. On this tank, probably can't see the fishies, a little bit dark down there, but uh, this tank has a 40 mil inlet, so that's coming from the pump in the sump, and the sump's also contained inside our top secret anchored raft system. So water's coming in on that 40 mil fitting. This is a big round tank, so obviously the water then swirls around it, goes around in a clock clockwise motion, and when it does that, it'll bump into all the pipes and fittings, so it'll slow it down, it'll stop the big swirling motion. So this 40 mil pipe you can see running down there goes to the bottom of the tank, right to the bottom, touches the bottom. That's the outlet. So as water comes in, that fitting over there from the pump in the sump, it then starts, gravity starts pushing it up that pipe. Once the water level reaches the top of that pipe, it gets over the pipe by about two or three centimetres. The swirling motion keeps all the water and any debris moving around in a circle. And over there you can see another one, a 25 mil. So that 25 mil is skimming the top. So it's starting to suck in everything on the top. And, uh, you know, so it's a kind of twin cleaning system. Big pipe sucking from the bottom, getting all the heavy waste, fish poo, all that kind of stuff, anything that hits the bottom. 25 mil skims and sucks everything in from the top. So the water level, once the pump comes on, would go about two centimeters over that 40 mil pipe there, which allows the whole swirling motion to come right around the tank. Everything goes then past that 25 mil, gets sucked into it, and gets cleaned into the filters that are sitting inside the first grow bed of this, connected to this system. So, pretty simple stuff, but I find it's all the aeration cords get in the way and they start holding food, holding dirt, because they generally lie on top of the water. So really simple ways to get around it. So in this, this method, it's just a, this is a plastic tank, so easy to screw things on. That's just a 90 mil, 22 or 45 degree bed, I think it's a 22. It's screwed to the roof. So my air pipes, coming in a tube there. They all go right up to the roof, and then from there, they hit the water. So they're directly going into the water. Can you imagine if these tubes, normally, they just sit in the water, and they go rise up and down with the water level, and all these pipes just clog food onto them. They hold food and gunk, you know, almost creates like an algae. They get really slippery and yuck. So having something like that, gravity holds them all up, out of the water, directly into the water, so nothing gets caught on them, instead of having them just slackly lying in the water. So you can see in this system, the pipe has about a 32 mil pipe for the air tubes to go up. You can kind of you can see them in there, coming straight up, that's just a T. This is all just old plumbing fittings being used. And with this pipe, the aeration, it's pretty simple. It's just got a rubber seal that was lying around, so I can easily take it on and off and add more lines and all those lines go down into one of the boxes that basically holds all the air pumps and solar gear and all different things in there. So yeah, so the quick tip is keep your air lines from just floating on top of the surface. It slows down water movement, which is slowing down oxygen movement and also just holding gunk, which you don't want.